So I want to talk to you a little bit about Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. When I was a medical student, we called it Jakob Creutzfeldt disease, but that gets mixed up with the JC virus, the John Cunningham virus. So you should know it's Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, and Creutzfeldt probably did more. So Creutzfeldt Jakob disease (CJD) it can come to neuroophthalmology as the Heidenhain variant, and the Heidenhain variant of CJD is an unexplained homonymous hemianopsia or cortical visual impairment, and often the MRI scan is initially normal. So when we have a rapidly progressive homonymous hemianopsia or rapidly progressive cortical visual impairment with a negative MRI over months, you really should be thinking about CJD and the Heidenhain variant. Later, the neurocognitive pieces start appearing, and then in the end stage, you have myoclonic jerking and sometimes ophthalmoplegia. The MRI scan eventually starts to show abnormalities and DWI shows this very peculiar cortical ribboning. So it's like a ribbon of DWI abnormality that's hyper intense uh, in the cortex and that is a, a classic CJD sign, restricted diffusion in the cortical ribboning pattern. We're gonna do a lumbar puncture, and what we're looking for is the RT quick. And this is to look for the prion protein that is sensitive. And we take the serum and we put it into uh, the Quaker, and the Quaker is basically shaking it up. And instead of the proteins being soluble oligo uh, peptides, they aggregate in this beta pleated configuration and form like amyloid sheets and sheets of this material. And because it's self-propagating, it is an infectious prion. So even though it doesn't have its own genetic material, the prion protein touches other proteins and makes the beta sheeted uh, configuration that leads to the accumulation of this in the CSF. And so the RT quick has a better sensitivity and specificity than the older tests, even though they're still around, which is the 1433, which is basically the numbering pattern on the electrophoresis bands and the, the CSF tau protein. So the combination of CSF 1433 tau and RT quick, uh, if they're abnormal, can make the diagnosis of Heidenhain variant CJD. EEG often shows a very classic uh, triphasic component, and that may or may not be present with the myoclonic jerking. But you really have to have high suspicion for CJD in a rapidly progressive degenerate, uh, what looks like a neurodegenerative disease with dementing illness that's over months instead of years. And it comes to us as either unexplained homonymous hemianopsia or unexplained cortical visual impairment with a negative MRI. Over time, the DWI shows the cortical riveting. Think about RT quick for the LP and the CSF, do EEG, of course there's no treatment and it's more for just diagnostic purposes.